am excited to share a couple things that are on my heart. If, this is the first thing before I forget how to say it. If you don't feel it, you don't heal it. And I was just thinking about the process of processing emotions and how, you know, we went through those five steps last week and be sure to review those like daily if you don't know what they are. Um, but that fifth one, finding the wisdom. And I also was thinking about perfectionism and how a lot of times my clients who have tendencies to do that, it becomes about performance and it really takes them away because when they're not being perfect or, or performing in the way that they want, wish, then they throw the towel in a lot of times. So if you find, I think we're all perfectionists in different ways. And so, you know, in the health realm, um, being more vulnerable of, Hey, I'm human and I'm learning. And the goal is growth, not perfectionism. That's where we're going to find some, uh, some traction. And I was reading in the life book yesterday about the jar, the Mason jar and putting the rocks in. And here we are starting in the new year. And I would say that those rocks are so powerful when we center our lives around what matters most first. Um, and you know, the rocks come first, then come the pebbles, then come the sand, then comes the water. And so as you are forming, um, goals for this new year, I just want you to really think about those rocks and how important they are for you. Um, some of my rocks is my morning routine. I've worked on this for like eight years and I'm pretty dang grateful for it because it really has changed my life to wake up. I have scriptures. I have meditation. Now I have journaling. I have prayer journaling. I have, um, my projected three wins for the day. I also do my gratitude. So I do all this and it usually takes me like a good 30 minutes, honestly. And I do this exercise lately for, um, my day stays this right day. So I, I really have a morning routine that sets me up for success in the morning. And if I, if there's a day that goes by that I didn't necessarily do it, it is like, I do not feel complete. And I would say that it, you have you heard schedule your priorities don't have your priorities schedule you maybe I said that wrong but my point is really know what they are have clarity within what you're trying to create for your goals and as you um, if you haven't signed up for the help challenge of the 90 day real self care I would say get going on that because one of the things that I'm doing this week and I will do it with you today if you, as we do a client check-in is our ability to do it's called structural tension chart and my brain just thinks this way now and I would say that it's like so powerful in creating these goals that we want so we have the bottom of a paper and I have a printout in the details of this video the bottom of the paper is going to be your current reality. So your current weight, how much you actually drink, what, what habits do you have that serve you and don't serve you like facts. There's no discrepancy on these. Okay. And then you have at the top, all your goals. And part of that's going to be your future identity. You remember how, when we did a, our first health assessment and I created that present tense, I have one written out for myself. That's like, I, it's in my journal. I don't, I'm not in my house. Um, that it talks about the things that I want to become. So like a mom who is patient, a mom who's loving, a wife who sends sexy texts to her husband. Like just a lot of things that are creating my identity. A person who drinks water. I'm um, a pickleball player. That's what I'm going to go do. So there's going to be all the things that you're wanting to create and like the, the weight that is you're going to always have an ish. You like have a fluctuation within that, but just that you are the body fat percentage that you're working on and just, um, how you feel and what you're wanting to become. And then you have a big gap in your paper and then you're going to fill in the lines of like, okay, there are things I'm not doing that would take me to there. So what are they like meal planning, um, having clear schedules, for, you know, maybe writing down your schedule the day before of what you're trying to accomplish the next day. 
So different things like that in between to get to those places. So I just kind of wanted to encourage you guys to kind of be thinking about those goals. If you have filled out your structural tension chart or you're willing to, January is a good time to do it because everybody's doing it anyways. And like, what kind of person do you want to become? Like getting healthy is one aspect of your life and it's pretty significant because we can easily dismiss it um, and, and say that it's not important, but it really does affect our relationships with people, um, with ourself, okay? The self-discipline that's required to reach health goals translates into the other areas and brings confidence as you take those baby steps to doing everything that you want to do. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I wanted to tell you updated news as far as Optavia. There is an amazing webinar today at 11 Mountain Standard Time. Tomorrow there's one and the next day there's one. So choose one to join. But today I'm so excited because they're going to have a medical director of this other thing. Now he's enough to be a coach because he sees how this program changes lives. Um, but he's really renowned. And so I'm excited. I don't know much about him, but that's going to be in the details of the video, um, is to join one of those webinars. I think I sent you a text yesterday with that actually. And then we have an incentive for new clients. If you know anyone who's ready for the program, absolutely the time to invite them to a webinar or to the health challenge that's free. Okay. And um, I can get in touch with them. I also have that job form that they could fill out. And, you know, I just would love to serve more people. And you guys, I getting referrals from clients, from you guys, I do referral credit, double referral credit, but it will help you be able to be more committed to your own journey, that you're talking to these people, that you've made, you're making a difference. And if you decide you want to co-coach with me, it could never be easier. Like, you can coach one person, you can coach several people. Um, but we do the work together for your first five clients anyways. So you're like not out on time. And as you know, we talk like what five minutes a week. So it's not super intensive, but there are lots of people too, who see the bigger vision of how this can be like a career change. And they're like, you can make dang good money. Like I'm telling you, I am blown away by some of the, like last year, two years ago, I made like the most I've ever made. And then I've never like fallen below either. Every single year I make more and more and more. So this has been a steady job that's blessed my family. We would have a completely different life financially if it were for my income. So um, it's that self-discipline there to, to be your own boss. And it's pretty incredible. So incredible. So if coaching is something that you're interested in, they will have a short segment on that today and tomorrow and the next day. But um, having a conversation with me is where we kind of find and do a little dream weaving of like, well, how could Optavia be a vehicle to help you reach your own goals? Because your goals are important. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. I uh, got to turn my car off. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So so there's a special, a client special right now. It's $75 off and then you get 30% rewards for any new clients. So if you have anybody um, that you're thinking or you want to make a post for me, I would absolutely be grateful for that. Um Gosh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Sign up for the health challenge. And sorry that this today is so long, but I just wanted to share how much I'm grateful for you. Um, I really am. I learned so much from, from you. And um, I hope you guys are feeling uh, connected and using all four components of our program. You matter. And don't dismiss it. Because as you do, then you devalue your growth possibility. Have a great day.